Welcome to a video from TheDigitalLife.com In this video we're going to have a look at this Acer Transform Mini This is a really nice 2-in-1 convertible with some really nice features including pen, detachable keyboard So before I go through the specs let's have a look at the exteriors of it Like It's small, a 10 inch, 10.1 inch screen and I love this form factor um, of small devices uh, I have a Surface Pro 4 and this has a lot of similarities to that which is a really good thing Anyway, let's have a look so, it's thin, 13.9 millimeters with a detachable keyboard. Let's detach the keyboard first and have a look at it. So there you can see it's very nice and slim with a premium metal feeling ca uh, case to it with a nice sort of um, finish, cr uh, chrome finish to it. And I think they do do different colors as well. Uh, certainly the keyboard they do anyway. And uh, it's got this nice metal feel to it, a very premium feel to it, that's curve for ed edges. So, as a tablet, definitely uh, easy to use as a tablet, it's a, a nice form factor. Um, and then, of course, you've got the keyboard as well. So, the keyboard attaches magnetically like that and then clips up for stability. So, and there's a, a kickstand at the back which goes up to 110 degrees so you can use it uh, pretty flat really if you wanted to all the way like that right the way up um, to a pretty much vertical vertical mode let's have a look at the ports on it and then I'll talk through the keyboard as well so we've got micro USB for power and we've got uh, micro HDMI standard on most tablets Something that isn't very often there on small tablets is a USB, a full size USB 3 port. So I recently reviewed the um, Lenovo Yoga Book, which has a sim which is similar size, slightly different with the Halo keyboard, but no port on there. So this is a good thing. You can plug all sorts into there, USB 3. Headphones, um, what else have we got? Power button and a. Uh, micro SD card as well so you can plug a uh, external storage in there so I really like that one unique thing on here that I haven't seen on any other devices um, that I've reviewed um, is a fingerprint reader for Windows Hello it just works and I'll, I'll show you in a minute but it works exactly as you uh, it does on many of the phones with fingerprint reader you can use it to sign into Windows and it's very effective like I said, I'll show you the other thing it does as well, which not all devices do, is it auto detects when the keyboard's uh, folded round or not, which means that um, it, put, it can automatically put it into tablet mode, and uh, which I think is really good. Right, okay, so we've got the sign-in screen now in here. I'm just going to reach over, put my finger around the back, and there we go, we're signed in. Um, it, I mean, I only recognise the program to authorise the one finger on there. It would be better to do probably you know all fingers or something like that because the way the camera is I've got to reach around but probably better if I did my left hand on there but you can just do whatever you want and it works really well uh, it, the recognition is there every time and I'm um, pretty impressed with that Windows Hello works really well and I actually prefer that to using the camera for Windows Hello it would perhaps be nice if it was here or something but maybe in tablet mode it's in a, a good position there so that's a really good thing. I should also mention as well it comes with an active pen, which we'll have a look at shortly. So uh, let's go through some sets. We've got a 10.1 inch screen. It's light, 790 grams with the magnesium alloy body. I mentioned about the colours before as well. These keyboards, uh, they do do them in different colours. This is sort of the uh, chrome one, but they do like gold and, and different different colours. It's got an Atom um, X5 processor processor in there with 4 gig of RAM and 64 gig storage. So it's not a particularly fast machine. Video encoding, gaming, you're not going to be doing it on a small device like this. But um, it's fine for browsing, email. Um, you could do a bit of Photoshop on it. With, it's going to be a bit, little bit slower the X4 X5 processor. But 4 gig of RAM means that browsing should be uh, good. You're not going to get some slowdowns. You should be able to open new tabs uh, without it slowing down or anything like that. That 4 gig of RAM is plenty of headroom for for Windows, and uh, that's quite impressive, really. So. Uh, in, when I've been using it uh, the last couple of days, it feels fast and. You know, task switching is nice and quick. Uh, 
let's load something else, let's load Minecraft. Always one that I like to use to test it. So actually the X5 processor, uh, the Atom's come a long way and I actually like the, the processor for this for a tablet. It's nice and snappy, nice and fast. I see it's not too bad to open Minecraft on there. Now I mentioned before I said it had 64 gig, it doesn't, it has a 128 gig SSD on here. Uh, I think there's various models available. 95 gig free after uh, Windows installation and the Asus app, so which is pretty good. So here we are in Minecraft and nice and smooth. Even for the little X5 processor, this works perfectly fine. Get nice uh, smooth playback on there. I can't hear any fans on here, so I think it is fanless. It certainly doesn't seem to be getting warm. Minecraft normally puts a, uh, makes the processor speed, um, puts a load on the processor, means that it's going to uh, have the extra heat on there. And on the surface, I hear the fan uh, spinning up, but it's not currently doing that. Let me close that down. Also, you notice the sound on there. I'm going to try some music playback in a second. Uh, sounds not too bad either. Small devices always compromise things like sound and. Uh, and process speed, but this is a nice com uh, this is a nice compromise really. The way that Asus have done that, I really like this small uh, form factor with the surface style of keyboard. Now, talking of the keyboard, this is um, not going to be a device that you probably do a huge amount of typing on. For me, the keys are a little bit close together and a little bit small. That is a, an issue with the compromise when you go for a small device like this. So this wouldn't be a main device that uh, I'd do a lot of writing on. But it's certainly been no problem doing emails on here and uh, even a blog post or something like that, writing the review up, no problem on here. It's just the keys are probably a bit, little bit small for me, but then you know they could make it bigger without it sticking out and ruining the design so that's a compromise I'm happy with. It's got a nice trackpad on there um, it supports the precision touch actions as well so things like for three finger swipe for task switching uh, two fingers for scrolling um, so actually I trackpad is really nice I could no problem using that trackpad at all um, I used to say that there's a 1.5 millimeter travel on the keys. It's not too spongy, actually. I mean, I've tried some small tablets before, and they tend to have a bit of poor keyboard. This is probably one of the better ones. Like I said, it's just not that big, really, for a lot of typing on here. When it comes to battery life, it's another good feature of the Atom processor. Uh, we've been running this quite hard, actually. So with the, I've been doing some stuff testing before with Minecraft and stuff. So it's currently saying, uh, where we go, five hours with 65 percent remaining which is probably about right uh, eight to say 11 hours I've found that's probably a, about right with the X5 processor I also found it on the Lenovo yoga book as well this X5 processor and Windows 10 and uh, optimization is giving you good battery life 10 uh, 11 hours I even had 16 hours come up once uh, on the um, on the yoga book so this is going to deliver you good battery life and I guess that's what this device is about it's it's a small device um, you can use it for taking notes traveling around with you you're going to get long battery life that for charging it comes with standard micro USB charger so you could probably you, you don't have to worry about taking a charger with you because of the long battery life so I think it's really good for um, note taking and things like that and talking of note taking it has a, an active pen as well um, with Windows Ink there's quite a lot you can do that so let me uh, go on screen sketch and uh, we'll create a new one so this is the pen you can see I can draw on here and flip the keyboard back put the kickstand away let it go into tablet mode and you can see you've got a really nice um, you know notebook there for taking notes on and uh, Yep, no problem with that using that as as a notebook on the go. I would probably use it with OneNote, and uh, which is my favourite app for taking one uh, taking notes, which I have got, uh, which is uh, part of the setup and included. It supports the pressure level sensitivity. So the harder I press, I get a thick line. I really write lightly, I get a thin line. Um, 
interesting this pen also work, pen also works with their uh, surface as well so these pens obviously uh, many of them seem to have the same digitizer on but that's really good with the pen and you've got a couple of buttons on there as well uh, one of them is a, you can use a selection tool depends on how windows set up or an eraser or whatever you want the pen slots in I don't think the pen fits is meant to fit in there because it's quite small so the pen I think fits in like that and uh, so you've got a nice little uh, notebook um, to take with you, especially with this nice soft cover on there as well, which uh, makes it feel really nice. So, talk about the screen. The screen is 1280 by 800, a little bit on the lower red side, but 10.1 inch screen is not too bad. It's nice and clear and bright. It's a bit on the reflective side, but I reviewed an HSM book recently that had a sort of a matte screen designed for you so that it's not to be uh, reflective. But to be honest, I like the, the glossy reflective screens, I think. Um, so the colours are nice, nice and clear, good reproduction, maybe a bit low res, but um, for a touch screen, it's got a very nice clear display on there. So it's not ultra high res, but uh, very n looks really good. So the screen is nice and bright. We're running at 40% there, and uh, that's at 100%. And it probably the camera doesn't pick that up too well. It compensates for the brightness, but it is very bright. And 50% um, there is perfectly adequate for uh, for normal use, and that's going to give you the extra battery life as well. If you like the form factor of the Surface Pro range, Surface Pro 4, but want something a bit smaller, then Microsoft don't offer that. This is probably the device for you. It's small, compact, 10.1 inch tablet, got the keyboard on there, it's got the soft uh, design on there, you've got a pen support, fingerprint for Windows Hello. It really packs a lot into a very small device, around 500 quid as well. I think it's pretty good value. Well, you may say 500 quid for an Atom processor, but you're getting a quality device. You're not getting a cheap, um, a cheap tablet. Effectively, you're getting a laptop, two-in-one convertible. That is a tablet that packs into a very small, neat form factor. Professional features like Windows Hello, USB 3. I really like this device. It's um, my kind of form factor. I do like these small, nice tablets, and it certainly you can carry that around with you. And uh, you know, it's not taking up too much weight, but you're still running a full Windows 10 operating system. So thanks for watching this video. If you want to look at some other videos on the Dislifestyle.com our YouTube channel, we've got uh, other Asus products, we've got Microsoft products, we've got uh, Lenovo all on our YouTube channel. And uh, if you've got any questions, find them over in at the Dislifestyle.com.